Just, just do it. I don't, I don't even know why I'm questioning it. There's a reason I have all these tabs. I'm 29 tabs. Phone not working so good when I do this. The FBI withdrew a memo. Oops, I'm sorry. FBI backtracks after getting caught targeting Latin mass Catholics. So, everybody's afraid of these people. Like, from the Vatican down. They've, had, they've tried to send people, send priests out to all the schools and high schools and stuff so that they could try to make overtures to the Latin Mass people because they know the future of Catholicism is in men. The future, well, really, I mean, the future of everything is, is in the comeback of men, but it, that, that's its own video that with sexual market value and explaining every everything we're seeing at the freak is honks uh, and, and, and looters and shooters and, and, and drug addicts and everything. That we're, seeing, we're just seeing sexual market value just totally expose itself. But um, I was also thinking about that, that no, 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 the future is men. And what, what the, it's now starting to show um, all the major institutions are freaking out because of what men just won't do anymore. We, ah, oh, don't feel like it. <laughs> no, I'll eat ramen. <laughs> so, now, uh, they, there's, like, the uh, two groups, Latin Mass people and Rokor, or the Russian Orthodox Church, freak all the right people out. Anything that traditional freaks them out. It's freaking them out. Oh, yeah. Oh. Got my herbs going again. Got my, my famous teacup. Yep, on my straw. Hmm. Oh, I did it perfectly, too. Hmm. Oh, that's good tea. All right. FBI backtracks after getting caught targeting Latin Mass Catholics. Clemped in my connecticut zoink. The FBI withdrew a memo targeting Latin Mass Catholics as extremists after former FBI staffer turned whistleblower Kyle Kyle Serafin. What a great name, huh? It's a good name. That's like one of those where I mean, when you're an FBI agent, Serafin. <laughs> Come on now. I mean, is that even real? Are you real? The document showed the agency planned... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, he published an eight-page memo on Wednesday. The document showed the agency planned to focus on mitigation of radical traditional Catholics over the next 24 months due to concerns that white nationalists were making common cause with online Latin Mass attendees. The memo was written by an FBI analyst in Richmond, Virginia for internal use only, on January 23. I just want to, okay, so, um, because there was a video I had, and I had to delete it, or I moved it, and, and it, it, memory, memory got full, had to move the memory, bingo, bingo, bongo, and then I made this one, the last one, and I'm making this one, um, and I mentioned, you, you really start to see when you're deep right, far right, and you saw all this going on, everything happening, that, that when you're like, okay, well, but the Latin Mass Catholics, the reason why they went Latin Mass Catholic is because they went, they, they've chosen Catholic. They're Catholic and they're nationalists. And, and so therefore they can dedicate themselves toward trying to do that which would cause people to come to the Catholic Church and join their their community of people. Join their that's their tribe. Catholic tribe. So they are specifically the group that quite openly had like pretty much like online fights with the white nationalists. Because so many of the white nationalists were like, well, of course, you know, you know, Euro, neo Euro, neo ancient Euro paganism will, will be totally normal 
and that's why I named myself Solar Deitus Big Penis MC, you know, or whatever. You all know who I'm probably talking about. I think that actually might be his 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 really weird name. Actually, I think is totally real. I forget what it was, like Saturnus Apollyonis, or it was just it was just so over the top, and I'm just like, no way, dude, no way, you're running for office under that name as an openly white nationalist. <laughs> like that, this is, this is gold. You definitely don't glow. Nothing about this glows. Oh, man, that was a number of years back. Um, okay, so anybody who knows about all of that, who knows about the, the history of the alt-right and the reactionary Catholics and all the blood sports and debates and all that shit, knows these are two groups that don't really get along terribly well. They, they just don't. And it's also because people who are into the Latin Mass, that's attracted like all sorts of Catholics and not just white ones. That there, there's a lot of people who it's like now this Catholicism with its with with the 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 balls intact, you know, and so that's the way that so it's 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 attracted the attention of of a lot of different a whole range of the Catholic world. That's the point of the Catholic world. That's the, the is that that it's it's a it's a world. It's a, it's yeah. So. <clears throat> they are their own group. They don't need to have another movement, really. They just need to be very Catholic. <laughs> um, Seraphin said he obtained the memo from an anonymous Baptist employee for the agency. Cha-ching! The memo relied heavily on the Southern Poverty Law Center for its suspicions of traditional Catholics. Cha-ching! 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 Okay. Uh, despite the SPLC having long been rejected as a legitimate source for the FBI, according to Seraphin, according to LifeSite News, the memo showed an above-average understanding of the various pro-Latin mass communities in the church, an indication that people familiar with these communities had been in touch with intelligence agents. The memo touched. The memo even expressed optimism for new opportunities for threat mitigation through the exploration of new avenues for tripwire and source development. The memo claimed that its real motivation was a concern that radical traditional Catholic ideology posed an anti-Semitic, anti-immigrant, anti-LGBT, and white supremacy outlook which would present a threat to the U.S.'s domestic well-being. It also claimed... So, so this is also very, very good to, to bring up. So, when there was Latin Mass before, good old-fashioned Yankees feared those incoming fucking Catholics. <laughs> And you see that, and then they they became good consumers. They started just becoming, you know, the, you know, notorious for, for having sex before marriage. You know, it's like it was good jokes. You know, it's they it just became like you know some people down the street. You know that that you know that the Protestants would accept that they can't, you know, quote line and verse, but hey, they're Christians too. You know, but I mean, don't understand the priest thing. So, I just think it's kind of interesting that it, this is showing, this is a cultural group. They might disagree with a whole lot of other people in the culture, and they will be strong. These other groups are weak. And without the secret police monitoring these people and thwarting them and getting all, oh, they might do something crazy. So they have to get involved. The government has to get the secret police involved in a culture that is strong. A whole lot of black people should really, really, really be thinking through. So right now, are black people strong? We need some strumph. 
And you know, the FBI be all about trying to help us out from all them Nick Fuentes and shit. <laughs> oh no, here comes Kyle Rittenhouse. Well, look out. <laughs> that's that's who I'm I'm worried about. <laughs> it's a guy who <laughs> looking out for Kyle. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, he's wearing cowboy boots. <laughs> Who knows what he'll do? So, it also claimed that adherents to traditional Catholic ideology frequently share language and symbolism such as crusader references or anti-Semitic discourses online that pro-life white nationalists also support. So it's, so some, somebody somewhere agrees with somebody else on something that, 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 it is d disagreeable to, you know, like, FBI agents. And, and literally, literally, simply disagreeable. Like, that's rude. It, 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 they're, they're trying to conflate this with actual violence toward Jews, and if you look at the past few videos, you'll see that I read that article that covered Almost all the violence toward Jews in America is done by black people in urban areas. <laughs> so they're desperately trying to say, oh, but if those Catholics start doing the Latin Mass, well, it'll be another show. It, it, it's really, it, it, it's not, it's just figuratively, they're going just pretty much just trying to steer it that way all the time. Like the Young Turks, always trying to steer it, that, that now you're seeing, like, oh no, this is what they called coordination with socialists. I think it might have been the communists specifically, rather than national socialists, or the offshoots of fascism. But those those two groups did this too. Where they would they had their own words for it, and their their specific type of political language. of That, that the, 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 the journalists come in, various institutions come in, a bunch of experts show up ah, doctor, ah, yeah, doctor, ah, yeah, doctor, we all agree, we all agree, yes, it's these people, <laughs> it's them definitely them and all of the journalists, they've been doing uh, many articles, we have been citing the articles and they were citing our work, it just so happens to be so, you know, and the party it uh, also seems to understand this too, so I love how the Democrats refuse. They, they're like so pretending to, like, they don't see the similarities. <laughs> I love it. It's fucking great. It's, I fucking love it. They don't see this. But yeah, yeah, no, there's no similarities there at all. You, oh, you're out your mind. <laughs> this is, yeah, okay. Ironically, every traditional Latin Mass parish I have ever attended is more ethnically diverse than liberal Catholic parishes that segregate attendees by linguistic and hence ethnic lines. Bingo, bango, bongo. That was, I even forgot that was in there. That the nation's top law enforcement agency would take sides in controversial doctrinal, ideological, and moral issues and categorize opposing outlooks as a threat to the nation, nation naturally concerns taxpayers who hold opposing outlooks on these issues. Sadly, the experience of Mark Hauk provides evidence of this type of surveillance is not beyond the realm of possibility. Bishop Joseph Strickland of Tyler, Texas, told LifeSite News, Hauk is a recently acquitted... Catholic pro-life activist, the FBI arrested him in September at gunpoint in front of his children for pushing a pro-choice activist who, an who antagonized his son. The Department of Justice sought to convict Hauk under the Freedom of Access to Clinic Entrances Act. Then, when the Daily Signal reported Tyler O'Neill contacted the FBI for comment on the memo, the agency emailed him the following, which he posted to his Twitter account. While our standard practice is not to comment on specific intelligence products, this particular field office product does not meet the exacting standards of the FBI. Upon learning of the document, FBI headquarters quickly began taking action to remove the document from FBI systems and conduct a review of the basis for the document. And there is a series of uh, tweets. Seraphin responded on Twitter to the FBI's disavowal. The uh, at FBI doesn't confirm information, but they confirmed this because they were called out. Not because they would never approve it, they approved it. 
and are embarrassed. This is the only way. House Republicans on the Judiciary Committee released a report in November that summarized allegations by whistleblowers of politi politicization of the Justice Department and FBI. In the report, whistleblowers claim the FBI abuses law enforcement for political purposes and that the agency's leadership shows a bias against conservatives. House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan told Fox News in January that his committee is working with whistleblowers in the FBI but raised the possibility of retaliation by the Justice Department. We think many of them are, in fact, going to be willing to sit for a deposition, be willing to testify in a public hearing, he added. All right. That was uh, from Valiant News. FBI backtracks after getting caught targeting Latin mass Catholics. Later.